Patients are referred to the Sleep Disorder Center for various reasons. Primary care physicians look for symptoms such as excessive snoring, daytime hypersomnolence, or daytime tiredness. They also have patients who may have witness apneic episodes. A witness apneic episode is when a bed partner says, hey, you quit breathing during your sleep. Disruptive sleep, tossing and turning, uh, frequent nighttime awakenings, preoperative surgery, patients come to the Sleep Disorder Center to see how they're going to breathe once they're placed under anesthesia. Children are referred to uh, the Hammond Sleep Disorder Center for ADHD. There's a link between sleep, disruptive sleep and ADHD. We're also looking for our uh, sleepwalkers, bedwetters, and even some nocturnal seizure activity in children. We do re request a few things. One, we ask them to abstain from drinking caffeine afternoon. We ask them to avoid that afternoon nap that they may have. And we also ask them to take their medication as normal, unless otherwise previously said by their ordering physician to not do so. Patients who come to the Hammett Sleep Disorder Center should be coming with the mindset that they're going to experience a normal night's sleep. Once a patient arrives for their sleep study here at Hammett Sleep Disorder Center, we have them go through the registration process where they sit and talk with the technician and we answer any questions at that time. We then go through our paperwork, explain the process to them, explain the wires and things that we'll be hooking up to them, what they monitor and why we need that information. This is non-invasive, everything is on your skin. You can wear clothes over top, it is non-intrusive, it is as comfortable as we can possibly make it for the patient. It takes approximately 40 minutes from the time the technician starts placing the electrodes on the patient till, till the time the patient is ready to go to bed. As the patient is sleeping, we're looking for various sleep disorders, such as sleep apnea, where a patient has difficulty breathing or an actual stoppage of breathing, and their oxygen level may drop as a result of that. We also can look for what we call periodic limb movement disorder, or the involuntary act of moving their legs a lot when they sleep. We look for seizure activity in our brain waves. We could also look for cardiac arrhythmias or heart arrhythmias or changes in rate and rhythm. Once the SCORD study is given to the sleep physician for review, her interpretation is then given back to the Sleep Disorder Center and we are in contact with the patient in a reasonable amount of time with their results. Upon review of the sleep studies, if a sleep disorder is found, such as sleep apnea, we will then notify the patient that they will be required to have a second study done. During that second study, we will initiate the use of CPAP. CPAP is an air pressure which will help keep the airway open and will also keep their oxygen level up at night as they sleep. This will improve their night's sleep and they will wake up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. rejuvenation. You will actually go to sleep and feel like you've slept. A good, deep, quality sleep. I've actually had patients say to me that they've gotten their life back. By having your sleep assessed here at Hammond Sleep Disorder Center, this can improve your life.